Hey guys, let me show you really, really quick my one, two, three step to create vocal shops within Cubase using this amazing tool, Groove Agent SE5. But before we jump into the tutorial, remember if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us. Over the years, I had a lot of samplers, a lot of plugins, a lot of tools, but there's one tool that I keep using all the time for my productions, and that is Groove Agent SE5. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go here and pick a sample, pick a vocal sample actually, and pull it into my session here. So here's one of the main functions of Groove Agent SE5. Here I have a vocal from uh, Slay Digital, from the Empress Slay Digital sample pack. And we're gonna actually slice this and turn it into vocal shops. I wanna be your everything. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on it, right? And I'm gonna open this. And here's the vocal. So we are going to go ahead and select hit points. What we can do now is create slices over here. Open Groove Agent SE5 and just as simple as this, drag and drop that audio. And just like that, you have it right here. I wanna be your everything. I, I, I wanna be, be, your, be, your, be your thing. I wanna, I wanna be, be your everything. You can actually modify this sample. So you can make it shorter. For example, the first one. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. And you can actually fade it. I wanna, I wanna. You can also modify the tuning here. If you want to add more to it, of course, I have other vocals here. I'm going to do the same process. Just double click on it, open the editor, go into hit points. And here I have way too many hit points here at the end. So what we are going to do is just boost a little bit the threshold. So we get with about those four. That seems about right. And from there, I'm going to create the slices here. And that's done. So I'm gonna open again Groove Agent SE5. The first four are already taken. So I'm gonna go with the other four. And automatically it's gonna uh, place all of them in an order. And then I get this. And now on that channel, if you want, you can put, for example, Alter Boy and modify the format if you want. And if you want to go further, you can add a reverb to it. Let's go with this one really quick. That way you have vocal shops that sound absolutely amazing and in no time, guys. If you want to know more, I have a video that I created about vocal shops that goes further using other tools to create vocal shops and I'm gonna link it here. So go ahead and watch that video. Let me know what you think and see you on the next one.